you are looking at the most dangerous element that could kill you in seconds, yet you may have it in your kitchen or even in your bathroom. In 1886, the first person to isolate this element was almost blinded by its power. And ever since then, this element has been a mystery to scientists. Even today, they don't know how to handle it properly. Fluorine is so reactive that it can burn through anything, be it glass, water, or even your skin. It is highly unlikely for any human to survive if exposed to fluorine gas. So why is this deadly element used in our daily life? To find out, let's go back to the story of its discovery. For over a century, scientists were fascinated by the idea of creating fluorine gas. But they couldn't do it because of its high reactivity. It was believed that if anyone managed to create fluorine gas, they would win a Nobel Prize. Finally, in 1886, French chemist Henri Moissan successfully created fluorine gas. But little did he know that he would almost die in the process. When he inhaled small amounts of fluorine gas, it burnt his lungs and made breathing very difficult. Even after retiring from the experiment, his lungs never recovered. But still, he won the Nobel Prize for successfully isolating fluorine gas. Today, fluorine is used in many things like Teflon pans, refrigerants, and even toothpaste. But if we take a closer look at its history, it has always been a mystery to scientists. Even now, they don't know how to handle it properly. And there have been many accidents while trying to work with fluorine. For example, in 1938, scientist named Joseph Spierenberg was trying to make fluorine gas, when suddenly the whole laboratory exploded. He was found dead the next day. But with all its drawbacks, why is fluorine still being used today? Well, it all comes down to its reactivity. Fluorine is highly reactive, which makes it perfect for use in refrigerants and air conditioning systems. It also makes great fluoropolymers, which are used to make non-stick surfaces. And when mixed with other elements, it makes useful compounds like uranium hexafluoride, which is used in nuclear energy. But despite all these uses, fluorine is still considered to be one of the most dangerous elements out there. Its toxicity has led to many deaths and injuries, and it is still a mystery to scientists. Maybe one day we'll be able to understand and control its powers better. But until then, we should be aware of the risks and handle it with care.